Hi everyone, I'm Juliana and I'm rebooting the Talos Principle. Uh, we've played a few episodes of this and I really like it, Zach really likes it, he just doesn't like it when I play it because we've had some technical issues and my WASDs aren't great and um, I switch back and forth between WASDs and the controller sometimes so uh, he has gracefully decided that uh, he'll step out and I'll restart and play it the way through all by myself so just restarting now so uh, let's have fun initializing firmware firmware functional loading child program parameters v99.9.0001 loaded systems check passed starting child process ready I still love the graphics on this. It's great, that sun flare. The slightly brillard vision and then it clears up. Great. Behold, child. You are risen from the dust and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice and know that I am your maker and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. Okay, so how do I know that I'm worthy? Anyway, um, love the graphics. Um, they've gotten better as we've upgraded uh, the computer so we can actually like see great details on the, f uh, oh my god, it's not a mosaic, it's, uh, oh my gosh, where has left me? Um, Frise? Yes, Frise. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, great graphics. Statues are great. Um, anyway. Alright, initial program, child program logic check. Uh, there's nothing. What are you? Ah. Subject, object, interaction, okay. Child basic calibration successful. Child program calibration successful. Spatial awareness is okay. Capacity, okay. So there's this QR code thing here. I don't know where I am, but there's something beautiful about this place. I will explore and see what I can discover. At version 17.1.0054. Kind of All up. across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. So there was some writing up in the corner about like the child uh, program parameters being lifted, or restrictions being lifted, and... Um, uh, sigil check being done and some other stuff so that and have a nice day added to that so that's that's interesting I didn't feel like talking over Elohim I find mm, I find myself in a world of impossible architecture and inexplicable machines I cannot fathom how it works and I am terrified to put one foot in front of the other lest I fall through the floor one with faith v 10.1.000 huh interesting 
Uh, they're talking about like impossible architecture and machines. And yeah. And I get the scared thing, but what what else are you gonna do at this point? So, Requ uh, this lock requires more sigils. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll start all the way over here. Peephole. Looks like you can walk through the purple, but not the blue. sigil to open the gate to my temple, but it may serve you in times to come. Good to know. Okay. Ah! Alright, I'm not going to use that so much because uh, that's going to end up being a problem. Okay, so there's three. I know there was that one over there. That's probably where I should go. Let me not run around everywhere for once, like chicken with my head cut off. But, uh, since this is me, it'll take me a minute to get there, so, um, there will be much running around with the chicken and my head cut off. So. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. Okay, what well, if I don't want to live for eternity? Or are you talking about, like, the Achilles eternity thing where, you know, everybody knows my name, but, uh, yeah.
Yay! I did it. If I could run into the thing correctly, that'd be great. Well done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. Outnumbered. This does not look fun. It's not look promising. Possess this sigil in abundance already. Okay. Can't take this or that. Um. Okay. So. Nope. I got two or three. So. Last one. I switch out of reach. Okay. See what we got. Uh, should have. Alright, and. Oh! That was. That was silly. Alright. Hey! Did the thing. I think that powered that one off. Let's see. Yep, that one's off. Woo! Okay, there's... Fine. Fine, be, be that. Be that you are. The gate. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. All right. So I think that's all that I can get from here. I got three. I got that one, and I got that one. So I think that's everything from over here. Okay. So. have been opened this world is not without order it is shaped by a great designer with signs and importance to guide my steps I am one of his children and the challenges are set before me to test my faith one with the face V 10.1.0011 so that number changed from the last time we saw one with faith where they were just zero 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 um, Whatever the end goal of this grand challenge is, it is, it's far out of reach. Knowing that, how are we supposed to resist its distraction at the 17.1.0002? I think that number changed as well. Um, so it looks like they're, they're kind of growing up or the firmware is updating or something. Um... Oh, yay. A computer of some kind. Loading library session done. Mounting local disk. 17 million distributed resources found connecting the network drivers. Error network inaccessible. Loading books and library. Error MLA unresponsive. Initial command prop done. Library archive session ready. Local guest at number. 
What is this? Unknown command. Type help for a list of available commands. Help. Okay. Basic terminal commands are list, display a list of available resources, open file name shows contents of a file, help display this text, run MLA, load the Milton Library Assistant Advanced Interface, exit, close this terminal section at, uh, <clears throat> at local uh, hashtag. So let's look at the list of available resources and I'll get through these and then I'll end this one and then we'll come back and start here all right so let's do welcome dot elm uh, from Nadia Sharab Sarabi um, at the Institute of Applied something uh, to Alexandra Drennan and if I'm butchering names, I'm sorry. At something Neomatics. Uh, welcome to the team. Again, hi again. Sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is that so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you are, but you intimidate me. You are so young and have already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. Uh, smiley face. Uh, there is also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that, normally speaking, I am head researcher here, but this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure. Star G star. Don't know that email comment. Let's do this, Nadia. Ah, close. All right. Um, Athena six dot text. Chapter six. Athena in the garden of Hesperides. Hesperides. Anyway, uh, there's broken text. Did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into the strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber, chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree, made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymph, said, the nymph said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to claim it, but all have faltered in the final step. For you must know that deathlessness, deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom it's unending folly. Who would take such a burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles and then something broken gazing upon the gazing upon the stars and wept. Hmm. Heracles is Hercules, for those that didn't know and are more familiar with his Roman name than his Greek name. Uh, figure it out. Sorry. Um, broken text. IP at IP something or other. Um, more broken text. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You gotta figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there, put it together, try and make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young. You've got loads of time to figure it all out. Love, Dad. Alright. 
And I think... I think that's it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this went a little long with me reading, but I did want to make sure I got as much text as I could in this one run. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if I'm doing it wrong in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.